In this video series, I'm going to cover how to draw the slide um, from your technical drawing text by Gasecki. I'm going to start by uh, creating a new drawing, and um, I'm going to use the supplied template, which is the A size sheet. Um, so it's not on this list here, so I need to go to Browse and just locate wherever you saved uh, the um, a size template or you may have just left clicked on the template in Angel and open it. Either way uh, we need to start off from that template. So I'm going to locate mine. Uh, so I'm just going to double click on the a size sheet. And the reason we're using an a size sheet is this template was created for Imperial units uh, which is the English measurement system. Uh, occasionally we'll be using an ISO uh, template which is metric. Uh, but this particular drawing uh, was drawn in uh, English measurement, so that's the type of template we need to use. Uh, recall that a template is used because it um, saves settings that you don't want to create over and over again. Uh, this template has um, uh, many layers that we'll be able to use during this um, um, uh, tutorial, and also uh, a title block that we can use. So we'll just go uh, into model space and we'll start our drawing. And looking at this drawing, um, it looks like I want to start off with the right side view. Um, you'll learn as it usually if you're given an isometric drawing, um, the dimensions uh, you, uh, you 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 can't draw one view at a time. In other words you may have to work, work a little while on the front view and then go to the right side view or work a while on the right side view and go to the top view um, things like that you can't just draw the right side view complete it then go to the front view complete it and then go to the top view and then complete it you usually have to work on two or three views at a time because of the way the dimensioning is done now when you're given an isometric drawing uh, such as you see in your text for the slide um, on this particular exercise it actually points out the front view okay um, let that uh, remember that that view is always the front view okay when you're given an isometric view of a drawing okay um, that's your standard position so to say okay so we're going to start off with the right side view and I want to switch to um, let's see how much we can do on our visible layer okay that's our visible lines and I just want to start anywhere in model space and I want to start off with a simple line so I'll type L enter and I'm just gonna click a point and I'm going to use direct distance I'll type in 1.75 enter okay so there's my bottom line of my object now let me use the offset command O enter and I will offset that up by a distance of 0.38 so O enter and then I'll type in 0.38 enter now I'll click on the line and then click above it to make an offset and then if you have your um, by the way um, you need to make sure that your polar tracking or ortho is turned on uh, these lines are going straight left to right because of my polar tracking being turned on so um, you can check that setting by right clicking on the polar tracking tracking button which is here and go to settings and as long as it's turned on um, you should have an angle that snaps to zero okay uh, remember that ortho if you have that turned on it allows your um, your drawing entities to be drawn left and right and up and down okay so make sure that you, you uh, draw your lines correctly. Also you want to make sure that your object snaps are turned on. Uh, you can right click and go to settings and see what running object snaps you t have turned on. These are the ones that I have running all the time. Uh, when they're running object snaps that means that AutoCAD is constantly looking for places to use these entities. For example if I go near the end of the line I'll see the endpoint snap light up which um, uh, it kind of acts like a magnet. Uh, when I go to create a line, my my second line will want to go to the end point of the first line, for example. Okay, so make sure that you have your running object snaps turned on. Okay, so now that I have those two parallel lines of equal length, I just want to connect the endpoints. Okay, so <clears throat> now let me uh, let me go up. Um, I think what I can do is. Uh, from here down at the bottom go straight up by 0.88 okay now it's bad drafting practice to actually have two lines laying on top of one another uh, like this so what I'm gonna do is use grip edit I just clicked on the line 
I'm going to grab that bottom vertex and then move it to the uh, top of this line or the end point of this line that we already drew. Okay, so now just to show you that I haven't changed anything, you can obviously tell that the line's going straight up and down. There's no jog, but if I measure say with the DI enter command, the DI command, this is the distance command. If I click endpoint to endpoint, I can see that line is still 0.88. Okay. So <clears throat> from here, I just want to draw a line at a 60 degree angle. Okay, we're given a 30 degree angle, and the triangle you can see is a right triangle uh, that's formed. So from this point, I want to draw a line 60 degrees from the horizontal. Now, I mean from the vertical. If I go to my polar settings again, I can see that my increment angle is 15. Okay, so that means that if I rotate uh, four 15 degree angles, that adds up to 60, is which I'll, which is what I want. 15 goes into 60 evenly is why a 15 is a good increment angle for me. So I'm gonna start off at the top, and I'm gonna rotate it to the right. Okay, so now I see my green dashed line. That's 15 degrees. Green dashed line. That's 30 degrees green dash line that's 45 and then one more will be uh, 60 okay um, now we don't really know how far uh, that needs to go at this point but that uh, we can correct that so let me use the offset command again so O enter and I want to offset the very bottom line by 1.75 okay and now let me use the extend command uh, to extend this angled line to here. Okay, so EX, enter. I want to select the line I want to extend to, then enter, and then the, select the line I want to extend, and then enter. Okay, trim off the excess, TR, enter, enter. Okay, and now uh, let me offset this line by 0.38 down. Okay, and then extend um, to that line, and then I can connect the endpoints, and I can also draw a line from here to here. Okay, and I believe that is probably our completed right side view. This is a fairly uh, simple object. All right, so now let me. Um, switch to my construction layer and what I'm going to do is I'm just from every point of interest like every endpoint for example I'm going to draw some lines over and I want to draw them straight left and right okay and <clears throat> this can be any distance but just um, what I'm about to do is figure out my spacing between views so this is more experienced than anything I'm going to offset this line by two Okay, and then I'm going to extend that line all the way to the bottom, and then extend it all the way to the top. Okay, and what I want to do right now is just basically find my outside dimensions of my object. Okay, so O, enter, 1.12, enter. Okay, and then TR, enter, enter, and I will clean up those construction lines there. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you a new command, uh, MA, enter, match properties. Those lines that I just drew, I actually want to just place those on the um, construction layer. So MA, enter, I'm going to select my source object, which is the construction layer, and then click on the visible lines there. And what that does, it makes the visible lines inherit the properties of the construction line. Okay. So let me go to my visible layer. And what this projection allows me to do is accurately uh, bring dimensions from view to view without a actually having to redo um, uh, measurements. So I'm going to draw uh, lines now. So L enter, and I'm kind of looking at the isometric view as I go along, and also the right side view. So I'm going to go from the bottom to here, make sure that snaps on the end point, and then. Um, now I'm, I wanted to draw the line from left to right, but I have a problem. Okay, I need to offset this construction line by 0.5. So O enter 0.5 enter. I'm making a grid where I can do some work here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and I'll draw a line from the endpoint there to the intersection here. 
Okay. And then down, 